Well, we got an interesting word from Paul Aney a moment ago. Uh, uh, the Borman Lovell Anders team so far hasn't been a bundle of laughs up there. They've been pretty busy, of course. Uh, there hasn't been much uh, banter back and forth, although the communications channels are, are great. But a moment ago, uh, Borman uh, reporting uh, in over the Canary Islands uh, identified the uh, spacecraft as Gemini 8. And uh, it caused a little bit of a laugh in uh, mission control. He was working one uh, flight segment behind with the Gemini flights. This, of course, is Apollo 8, and there's quite a bit of difference. We are told also a moment ago that TASS, the uh, Soviet news agency, had uh, given a rather detailed and rapid uh, report uh, from, the, uh, from the states here to the Russian newspaper, which pretty much was tied in which is, did carry the launch of Apollo 8 live, uh, did not do so. There has been no television schedule on the uh, Soviet uh, system of the uh, launching today so far. Perhaps the Russians are waiting until uh, Apollo 8 actually succeeds in circumnavigating uh, the moon. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 8 will continue in a moment. Two and a half hours after that perfect liftoff, came the historic decision, go for the moon. And this is how it sounded. Apollo 8, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Apollo 8, you are go for TLI, over. I do understand, we're go for TLI. The decision to fire the... ...as they could in all of the previous manned space flights, either Russian or American. And a quick decision, an emergency, they could be back on Earth uh, within uh, a very few minutes, uh, comparatively. In this case, once they commit to this uh, lo lunar trip, uh, they may be as many as three days away. And certainly two days uh, and, uh, and one day is the very minimum once they make this commitment this morning. So they want to be sure that everything is working perfectly. Their environmental control system, uh, the system that purifies the air, taking out the carbon dioxide, uh, odors and particles from the air in a lithium hydroxide canister and turning that bad air into good again. That has to work perfectly, obviously, or they don't have air in their spacecraft. And the water, the fuel cell byproduct, the fuel cells being uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the power source that uh, is created through the mixture of uh, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen a byproduct of that power that was created by the mixture of those two uh, uh, substances creates water, and that is their drinking water. If that isn't working, they don't want to go, of course. They couldn't go. The propulsion systems all have to work. They've had one firing now of the J-2 engine in the third stage, uh, and uh, they expect that to work again. They've been testing the auxiliary propulsion systems, the, uh, the attitude control systems on the third stage and their own attitude control systems on the spacecraft. The service propulsion system they cannot test, and that's the very important one because that's the one that puts them into lunar orbit and gets them out again. And it may be that Houston, the mission control, has now established contact with the spacecraft again. Let's listen for Paul Haney at Houston. We have just acquired uh, carbon, and here's how that conversation is going. That's the big decision. They are going to go for the moon. Wasn't any excitement from Apollo 8. No cheers that we heard. But that's the big one. This flight of Apollo 8 will be committed to the moon trajectory. That means that in fi at 5.41, that's about 22 minutes from now, uh, five, that's not by 10.41, about 22 minutes from now, uh, they will fire the third stage engine. And with the boost of that 230,000 pounds of thrust, 
accelerating them an extra 6,700 miles an hour in five minutes and 11 seconds. They will achieve the velocity to escape from Earth orbit, not to escape entirely from Earth gravity, but to escape from Earth orbit, enough to get out 230,000 miles to the moon. We'll continue to listen to mission control. It is being fed into us here now in case there is further transmission through the uh, Carnarvon station in Australia to the Apollo 8, 119 miles above Australia as it approaches that west coast of Australia. The position you see here now. With this decision to go, it means that all systems have checked out. The ones I reported to you a moment ago, the propulsion systems, the life support systems, the guidance and control systems, navigation and the uh, means of measuring their inertial uh, attitude, the controls, uh, the calculations of trajectory, all of those guidance and control subsystems are working, and the power supply is working. The 331 cell fuel cells and the 28-volt uh, DC batteries, three of those, two pyrotechnic batteries that fire off the charges that separate the various stages and uh, eject the parachutes for the final landing, and 315 to 200-volt AC inverters in the command module. They're all working. Everything's working. Spacecraft and its third stage, its service propulsion system, are ready for insertion in lunar trajectory. That undoubtedly was uh, one of the most momentous, probably the most momentous command ever given from Earth to a spacecraft in the seven years of the manned space program and yet, uh, as you heard, it was accepted with absolute calm from Apollo 8. Uh, there was no comment at all as that go no go can hear this Running through an unusually quiet pass across Carnarvon <coughs> with uh, very little more than the establishing call signs. Our uh, orbital digitals, which we're reading out from Australian sites, show that uh, the present velocity is 25,569 feet per second, showing uh, an apogee of 105.5 uh, nautical miles. And uh, our translunar injection burn will have the effect. Here's some calm going up. Let's catch up with it. Apollo 8, uh, we're at LOS in about 30 seconds, and we'll pick you up uh, over Araya 1 at 2.37 and a half. Roger. back here, the TLI burn will add 10,500 feet per second, perhaps a foot or two more per second than that, but that's very close, 10,500 feet per second to the present 25,570. And the uh, duration of the burn will be slightly more than five minutes. Thank you. 